welcome back. For our next segment, we have Dr. Coral Ho here joining us to talk about her new uh, AI program, Dissolve, that's aimed at uh, discussing and talking and helping solve the issue of dys dyslexia facing many students. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure, Kevin. So as I mentioned, you have a, you know, Dissolve, which is aimed at, you know, resolving and helping those who struggle with dyslexia. Uh, I know many of us heard about dyslexia before, and we have this idea of what it is in our heads, but can you just give us like a better understanding of what dyslexia is? Yes, sure. So it's widely accepted as a language-based disorder, and it results in a reading difficulty. But what is causing that reading difficulty? Um, now, for the first time with Dissolve AI, we can see exactly what is going on in the brain of a person with dyslexia in a very non-intrusive, non-invasive way. And we can see that there are language processes that are not running efficiently for somebody with a reading difficulty or dyslexia. Now, what are some signs that may point toward this learning disability in a child or a student? We have to consider the child's age. Uh, for students who are in third grade and higher, then we can just use a very simple objective measure that would be the school-administered uh, state testing or standardized testing that they run quarterly or trisemester. And if they are failing, then, you know, by definition, then they are struggling with reading and dyslexia is a reading difficulty. For reading researchers, they set it at 30 percentile, 30th percentile for state or standardized reading assessment, right? Especially if the child is under that chronically year after year. Some researchers are stricter and they set it at the 25th percentile. Now for students who are younger than third grade, when they don't have this kind of state testing, then parents might look out for other signs of language difficulty, like for example, having difficulty understanding what uh, somebody is saying and retaining that or carrying out oral instructions. Um, those are some of the signs that you can see um, in a very overt way without doing like an evaluation to see what is exactly going on in the brain. Now the, the most, or one of the most important things I think that Dissolve provides for families is that it's an affordable solution, uh, which is very important, especially when we're talking about access and education. You know, what sparked the creation of this effort, especially uh, making something that is a little bit more affordable for families uh, or for, you know, schools? Yes, so the journey started for me about 30 years ago. So a friend told me that her son was struggling with uh, reading in second grade. And I asked her what she was going to do about it. And she said that she was going to have him evaluated. And so I asked her how much that was going to cost her. And she said, $2,000. And I said, that's a lot of money. So why don't you just like, let me try it you know, for free first, right? Because I have a PhD in linguistics and I designed the test myself. And from that, I could tell they had trouble with vowels. Um, but I didn't know how to correct them at that point. Uh, so I started reading up on the research. It, to me, he had language processing issues. But then in the literature, they talked about dyslexia. So I started reading up on dyslexia, and I found that nobody else knew how to correct the problem either. Now, since he's young, and then later on, other children came to me in the community, I thought of it this way. You know, they're so young, their brains are still pliable, why would we not try to correct dyslexia, right? Because they would have to live with it for years and years ahead. And so that's why our team worked on correcting it. And with Dissolve AI, we're able to correct it. Now, this is um, really interesting because I want to know, like, what was the process like prior um, to AI systems like Dissolve to help students, um, you know, who are who were struggling with dyslexia, um, especially those who maybe live in areas where they're not um, privy or they don't understand, you know, what this learning disorder is. 
So yeah, can you explain, you know, what it was like maybe back in the day for people who had this and, you know, with families who didn't understand what it was? Kevin, I'll have to say that this is still happening now, right? Because Dissolve AI is so new that it is not in a lot of schools. And uh, I wish New York State, New York City would look at it and uh, try it out, right? But what's happening in the schools, and that's why this is a very important story, especially for New York, because this is the biggest and costliest problem in education, and it impacts everybody because you know taxpayers are paying for students right now because of current interventions right we're all paying more than twenty thousand dollars a year for each child in special education to try to take care of this problem but because current interventions cannot correct dyslexia you pretty much have to support that one child through 10 years right, of their child's life, you start from, say, third grade on. Um, so it becomes very expensive, $200,000 or more than that, right, for each child with dyslexia, whereas with Dissolve, it's just $1,000 a year. And, you know, it's finite because Dissolve gets them out of their eating difficulty in two years. So you're talking about only 1% of what it would cost. And it impacts everybody because here we're talking about education budget cuts, and that affects all other students as well. Um, and, you know, in your question, there's so many parts, you know, that I can go in so many directions, right? But I also want to see it at, uh, on a personal level, and that's why we've been working on it for so long, 30 years and 10 years in developing this AI. Why? Because we feel for the children, right? We cannot lose them. And we have lost millions of them because of current intervention methods. The methods that they're using have been around for 100 years. If they had not worked for all this time, they're not going to work, be working anytime in the future. All right? And yet we're pouring more and more money into this. I commend the uh, city of New York, you know, the mayor's office, for trying to deal with this problem. But we have to look at the legal research. The leading research shows that no current methods have been able to get students who have dyslexia or reading difficulty to go above passing or state or standardized reading right after third grade. So third grade is the wall and no other method has been able to penetrate it. Now can you share some of the methods of what Dissolve uses and how it uses technology and AI to help students with dyslexia? I also want to add that I, I think it's really amazing. I know we've been hearing a lot of scary talk about AI um, and how people, you know, kind of want the kids to get off of technology, but I think it's beautiful how your organization was able to use this um, as a method to help children. So can you talk a little bit more about that process and how, the, how Dissolve works? Sure, sure. So, you know, when people think about AI, you know, they think now about bad AI, right? Because there's this kind of AI that pretty much mines internet data, and the data may not be trustworthy or reliable and may be skewed, then the solutions or answers may be skewed. But that's not our kind of AI. There's good AI. And for us, it's not as if we're using some generic AI tool or algorithm and just slapping that on our program. What we're doing is we built this whole AI expert system, Dissolve AI, just to correct dyslexia, right? So we're not using internet data. Dissolve AI generates its own data to look at and analyze, right, to help each student get beyond this really difficult. Um, and if you like, then I can go in to talk a little bit more about why we use games and how it works to correct uh, the brain for language processing. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Can you talk, because I think that is also, could possibly make it a little bit more fun for the child involved. So can you talk about that? All right, so why do we use computing technology, right? Because all the fields, and all the specialists have been looking at dyslexia, right? From uh, the medical side, from neuroscience, right? From psychology. So why are we going in 
with AI? Well, if it's a language-based disorder, then you have to consider the linguistic system in the brain. And that is very, very complex system, right? Somewhat like a large computer operating system with millions and millions of lines of code. And when somebody has language processing inefficiencies, that means that some processes are not running efficiently in that system, right? Now, if the inefficiencies are happening in uh, peripheral parts of the system, then, you know, the system may get glitchy sometimes, right? But if the inefficiencies are happening in the core parts of the system, then the system can grind to a halt or simply crash. And that's why we see all these symptoms for students with dyslexia, and they're puzzling for teachers and parents. Um, but we understand that because now we can see inside the brain through games, right? So why games? Well, Dissolve AI is an autonomous expert system. So from sign up through the whole program, um, there's no human guidance whatsoever. The computer system just does its work on its own. So it builds a game for the child to play, and sends it to the child's computer. The gameplay is designed to activate certain brain processes so that we can collect critical information about how the brain works for language processing in particular areas, right? So in that uh, game, right, because of the user's responses, then we have this kind of information about the processes that ran, the processes that didn't run, and at what level of efficiency. So once Dissolve AI gets that data, then Dissolve AI builds another game and another game to keep evaluating and correcting the inefficiencies. And through the course of a program, the child would have gone through thousands and thousands of these games. So it's like therapy, like physical therapy, right? Incrementally correcting the problem. And that's why we use games. That's why we use computing. I think that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. Now, this sounds like a, a really amazing program and I love the approach to it. You know, what can a parent or a school do to utilize this resource? Just go to dissolve.com and sign up. And really parents shouldn't be doing that individually on their own, right? Because if the child needs this kind of resource, then uh, by federal mandate, actually because of the IDEA Act, then schools have to provide the appropriate education for that child. Uh, so schools should be coming in to use it, especially when it only costs 1% of what they're paying right now. And in addition, then you get the reading outcomes that you need. Um, and also this is plug and play. So it doesn't require teacher training. It doesn't require any kind of orientation, even for the child, because as you showed before, there's a how to play button, and that's all the child needs to get introduced to the game and get started. Well, I want to thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us and educating me and the community, you know, about this program. I think it's amazing, and I, I love that we're kind of using technology to kind of help our students. So thank you so much. My pleasure. If you are interested in learning more about this amazing AI program, please go to the website www.dissolve.com. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more open right after this.